Hi everybody, I am Katie the Crafty Blog Stalker and today I am going to show you how you can make a paper mobile using just some of your favorite scrapbook paper. Now this mobile is great in a baby's room, a child's room, really home decor of any type. You can also use it as party decor as well. So this is such a fun mobile to make and it's really pretty simple. So let's get started. Here is a paper trimmer. This is just a, a Fiskars paper trimmer that I'm going to be using. And then I've got this really awesome, um, it's Be Bold, Be Bright. It's a 12 by 12 paper stack by The Paper Studio. Um, I purchased it at Hobby Lobby, but I also found it on Amazon, so you can get this on Amazon. But just look at all of these fun papers that are included in this pack that have that gold foil. I love gold foil. I am all about the foil look and it's super trendy and I love it. So this is the paper that we're going to be using. And then I've got some metal rings here um, that are going to create the different levels or layers to the mobile. I've got a six inch, an eight inch, and a 10 inch ring. Then I'm going to be using some glue dots. <coughs> Excuse me. Some glue dots. And I am also going to be using the alphabet punch board. Now I'm not going to be creating any letters for my mobile. I'm actually just going to be using this little flagged punch right here that comes on the alphabet punch board. So that is why I have this. The first thing that I need to do to make my mobile is figure out what papers I want to use in my mobile. So this pad comes with eight different colors. You can see them all here. Um, but I don't want to use all of the colors. I think I'm gonna limit it, limit it to four. And I really like this collection of colors that's down here at the bottom. We've got a dark teal, a white, a lighter teal, and a gray. So these are the papers that I'm going to be using. So let's go to the back of the pad and pull those out. Now I also don't want to be using the same patterns of each paper. So I'm gonna grab the big polka dots of the dark and then let's go to the white and we'll use the diagonal stripe of the white and then we'll go to the lighter teal and we'll grab this like scallopy it almost looks like fish scales and then we'll go to the gray and we will grab, let's see, what's our choices? We've got a thick stripe or a little polka dot. Okay, we're gonna use the mini polka dot. I've got the three different ring sizes. So I want them to be layered so you can see each layer of paper with the ring, if that makes sense. So I want all of the strips of paper on my smallest ring to be 12 inches long. My next ring will be nine inches long and my outer ring will be six inches long. So they'll kind of cascade in. So, and I've also decided that I want all of my strips of paper to be three quarters of an inch wide. So I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer here. Now this paper trimmer is really awesome because it actually has two blades on it. Um, one blade is a scoring blade, which means it'll just kind of leave a track in the paper so it will fold really well along those lines. So first what I'm going to do is take the paper and put it in about three quarters of an inch in and I'm going to use the scoring blade so this is where I will fold over all of my pieces of paper onto that, onto that ring. Okay, so then I'm gonna take my piece of paper out and I'm gonna turn it and now I'm going to cut my strips. So I'm gonna use my cutting blade. I'm 
gonna move that scoring blade all the way down and I'm gonna start cutting my strips just like that. And I'm going to do that to all of my pieces of paper. So I've got my um, alphabet punch board. Now I'm not going to be uh, adding any alphabet letters to my, my uh, mobile, but this does have a really nifty little flag punch on it. So that is what I'm going to be using. So now I'm just going to be sliding these in. I want to make sure I'm not flagging my, um, my scored end, but I'm just going to create that little flagged edge just like that on all of my pieces. So now I'm just going to do that really quick. I've got my rings here. I've got a 6 inch, an 8 inch, and a 10 inch ring. And we are going to start with our six inch ring because those are, um, these are the, the flags that are going to be the longest. So I'm just gonna take off that little taggy there. And I've got my glue dots. And that's how we are going to um, attach the flag. So I've got all my pieces here and now what I'm gonna do, now remember where we folded or we scored before we folded? That is because that gives us that perfect fold line. And so, and it will keep all of my pieces um, the, same, the same length. Then, when we fold it all down, it's kind of hard to show you, but see it'll hang like that. So that is our most inner ring. Okay, so that one is done. So now we're gonna move to our nine inch. Now I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer again, and I bet you we are going to use like all of these. Now, another cool thing with the paper trimmer is it has this little slide out arm right here. So if you're going past six inches, you just flip this little arm out and you can measure your nine inches. So I'm gonna just trim these to the because now we're doing nine. This is our eight inch ring that we are going to be adding our flags to. And we're going to be doing it the same way as our other ones. We've got them scored. So the great thing about scoring is they just fold so perfectly and so easily. Oop, I touched one, got it on my finger. Just exactly what I said not to do. <laughs> And we're just going to place them around the ring. Not in any order, just totally random. There is my 10 inch ring. And I need some more glue dots. I'm about out of glue dots. Okay. And now we scored those just so, and um, that makes the, huh, I have to take the liner off, Katie. So we scored them, which makes them just fold so nicely. And we can put them around our ring. So this outer ring, all the pieces are six inches long, all of our flags. And then on the middle ring, which is an eight inch ring, all of our pieces were nine inches long. And then on the inner ring that was six inches, all of our pieces were 12 inches long. 
So I've got all of the paper strips attached to my rings and now I am ready to assemble it. So this is my smallest ring, my six inch ring. And I'm gonna take the next larger ring, this is the eight inch ring, and I'm gonna lay it on top just like that. And then I've got some strips of twine that I've already cut and I'm going to um, string these together with the twine just by ring putting the twine underneath the ring, um, under both sizes, just like that. And I want to kind of keep them centered right where I want them. And I'm going to do that in three places. Now what I'm going to do is just tie a simple knot. I'm not going to do a double knot yet, I'm just going to do a single knot. And then on this third one, I am going to do a double knot. Because then, once that one's tight, tie these others as tight as I need. And then I can just trim off that extra. And now I'm going to do the same thing with this outer ring. This is the 10 inch ring. I'm going to bring that in and kind of center it where I want it. And then in different places, I'm going to take my pieces of twine and run it. So it, I'll just be tying the middle ring to the outer ring. Cut that off. Then to create what I'm going to hang it from, I take, um, you could do three or four, I think I'm going to do four pieces of twine that are all the same length. tie those to the outer ring and just tie a little knot there at the end. Trim those ends. Then I'm going to bring all four of these ends together. And you can see as I lift this up and just kind of push all of these little paper flags down, how cute this mobile is. You can see the different layers that we've created here. And this is just such a fun piece of home decor or party decor. So I wanna thank you for joining me today. I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming tutorials. And you can also always find me at my home base at thecraftyblogstalker.com. So thanks everybody, bye, and happy crafting.